Elon Musk is well known for his groundbreaking deployments of several types of technology. Ever since he was a kid, he's had this unquenchable need to test the limits of what most people think is physically impossible. He pioneered transactions online with PayPal, established the market for electric vehicles with Tesla, and essentially founded the private space company industry with SpaceX. On the other hand, it's possible that you're not aware of his most current and monumental accomplishment. Elon Musk has been quite vocal about his intention to establish a colony on Mars for quite some time now, and throughout this time, he has been working tirelessly on his Starship spacecraft. He is working on a massive rocket of the next generation in the hopes that it will one day carry people from Earth to the Moon and eventually to Mars. And so now, he has ultimately shown its mind-blowing sequel, Starship 2.0 which is a rocket that is bigger and more advanced. What are the redesigned and brand new features that come with this updated version? And how exactly would it aid the colonization of Mars? Let us answer all of these questions in this video today. Welcome, and you are watching Technology Zone, where the home of technology resides. Mars is about 33.9 million miles away from Earth, and Elon Musk has ambitions to transport more than 1 million people there by the year 2050. He predicted that 1 million tons of resources from Earth would be required to bring the population to a stage where it could support itself without outside help. Because of the prohibitive expense of doing so, Elon Musk has been entrusted with coming up with an alternative system that is both practical and economical for moving people from one planet to another. The first time we heard about Starship 1.0 was at that point. Elon Musk's SpaceX Starship 1.0 will be capable of launching 100 tons into orbit and will be completely reusable. Meanwhile, Starship 2.0 will be 4 to 8 times bigger than Starship 1.0. First, let's take a closer look at Starship 1.0 in order to get a sense of how enormous Starship 2.0 is likely to be. So when Super Heavy Rocket Booster is added, Starship 1.0 reaches a height of more than 400 feet, making it higher than the Statue of Liberty. It is so enormous that it completely dwarfs the Saturn V rocket that NASA used to send men to the moon for the Apollo mission. Since 2019, the enormous rocket's framework has been built out of an alloy of stainless steel. The Starship has a diameter of 30 feet, which makes it more spacious than any previous orbital spaceship and enables it to transport tremendous amounts of goods, enormous celestial observatories, or even a large number of people. When it relates to power, the Starship is superior to any known rocket that has existed in humanity's history. In order to go into space, the Starship is fired on a rocket booster known as Super Heavy, which is 69 meters tall. After maneuvering through the turbulence of the Earth's atmosphere, the Starship would break apart into its constituent parts somewhere close to the frontier of space. The Super Heavy booster, responsible for sending the Starship into space, was about to return to its launch pad just as the rocket was about to make a rocket landing in orbit. Elon Musk has referred to the mechanical arms that would be used to attempt to catch it as chopsticks, and they will be attached to a massive tower. Due to the fact that the Super Heavy B4 only possesses 29 Raptor V1 engines, future editions of the Rocket Booster B7 will employ up to 33 Raptor V2 engines to augment the Starship's engine-related capabilities. Together, the Starship 1.0 and the expandable rocket have the capacity to transport up to 250 tons of cargo into orbit. On the contrary, if the Starship 1.0 were an utterly reusable rocket, it would only have the capacity to transport about 150 tons of cargo. A massive vessel of this kind is necessary to fulfill both roles as a recyclable colony van and a space liner for transporting people and freight between two locations. Starship 1.0 cannot transport the vast majority of the cargo necessary to build a self-sufficient settlement on Mars. Elon Musk asserts that the following generation of Starships, which he has named Starship 2.0, will be twice as massive as a spacecraft that would transport passengers and goods to Mars and the Moon. The Starship version 2.0 will have a diameter of 18 meters, up from its previous measurement of 9 meters. If it were built to these specifications, the Starship 2.0 would have a height of 240 meters or 775 feet and a width of 18 meters or 60 feet. This could be the giant rocket that has ever been constructed and would also have the broadest diameter. The cross-sectional area and volume of Starship 1.0 would be increased by a factor of 4 as a result of this modification. The engines of the ultra-heavy Starship 2.0 would need some kind of modernization. There is a possibility that each time this rocket is launched, it will carry a payload of around 1,000 tons. For Spacecraft 2.0, you will need 8 times the amount of surface area, as well as 8 times the capacity of the propellant tank. This will result in the vehicle being 8 times as heavy, since it will also need approximately 8 times the amount of thrust. Assuming that the orbital refueling is a possibility, 
The subsequent development of SpaceX Super Heavy rockets may be capable of carrying payloads of 800,000 kilograms or greater to low Earth orbit, the Moon, and Mars. This is equivalent to approximately 800 metric tons of material, which is equivalent to around 881 tons of material in the United States. Elon Musk undoubtedly needs a great deal of power in the vehicles he uses if he is going to succeed in launching a rocket of this magnitude, which, of course, refers to the mighty Starship 2.0. This rocket would need around 60 Raptors and 1.0 engines to get off the ground. Elon Musk has luckily been hard at work on the Raptor 2.0, which will be a greater engine. Almost every part of the Raptor V2 engine was redesigned to be more space-efficient and simpler to put together in the manufacturing process to reduce the amount of time and money spent producing something. In a recent interview, Elon Musk indicated that the newer model version 2 is far more dependable and powerful than the older one version 1.5. Additionally, the maximum thrust of the Raptors was raised by 25%, bringing it up to 230 tons of force when measured at sea level. On the other side, the SpaceX SN811 and SN15's version 1.5 engines provide 185 tons of thrust, which is equivalent to around 410,000 pound-feet. As a direct consequence of this, the Starship 2.0 would be able to lift off with less than 60 engines if it were equipped with the Raptor 2 engines. In 2016, the rocket design used by SpaceX had a diameter of 12 meters. It had the capacity to launch 300 tons into space and 450 tons to Mars just after the refueling mission had been successfully accomplished. The payload capacity of the ITS was three times more than that of the current Starship Super Heavy. If the scale was maintained, the 80-meter-long Starship would be able to transport nine times the cargo of the original Starship. This is a creation of Elon Musk's, and with each subsequent iteration, it becomes larger and more impressive. We shouldn't be shocked. At 240 meters in height, the rocket would be about 75% as tall as the Eiffel Tower and would be twice as tall as the Statue of Liberty. Elon Musk asserted that refueling a Starship for moon landings would take 10 launches. Otherwise, there wouldn't be sufficient fuel to make it there. Additionally, a crewed flight to Mars will become 100 times extra complex, which Jeff Bezos characterized as a high-risk endeavor. Elon Musk made these statements while debating the Artemis contract with Jeff Bezos. On the other hand, having a bigger spaceship capable of supplying all of the fuel will make the situation much more straightforward. In addition, because of the Starship's size, the ship will be able to function as a fortress for an extended length of time until all of the conveniences that are required to support the lifestyles of 100 individuals who have volunteered to be the first people to settle on Mars can be finished. The fact that Mars demands payloads of 600 tons, which are impossible to break down into 150 tons, might be another justification for such a gigantic Starship. Because of the severe weather and terrain of Mars, the Martian colony will have to steer clear of any physical work if they want to become self-sufficient. Steel production will need the use of iron ore miners, civil airliners, steel mills with massive cauldrons, and rolling mills. There is a good chance that the 9-meter diameter of the cargo bay may be a challenge for some of the things that the Mars colony may need in the foreseeable future. However, the 80-meter Starship 2.0 could be a superior alternative and would perform far better. After that, SpaceX's Starship 2.0 huge cargo might be used to launch sophisticated manufacturing systems and industries anywhere on the planet. With this bigger and more powerful rocket, Elon Musk would be able to accomplish his ambitions for Mars much more quickly, which is maybe the most crucial benefit of all. The capability of the solid Starship for transporting more cargo in a single journey will result in a reduction in the number of journeys necessary to supply the resources required by the settlers. The economics of Starship 2.0 need to be taken into consideration as well. You can't just construct a huge rocket just simply because you have a few billion dollars lying around. Elon Musk predicted that the cost of every Starship 1.0 launch would be reduced to only $2 million if the vessel's fully reusable and efficient propellant use was implemented. On the other hand, a single journey aboard the Starship 2.0 is comparable to eight trips on the Starship 1.0. It is predicted that launching the Starship 2.0 will cost a total of $8.4 million, with $7.2 million going toward the cost of fuel and $1.2 million going toward the cost of service operations. It is projected that launching Starship 1.0 eight times would set you back a grand total of $16 million. Alternatively, it is anticipated that the price of Starship 2.0 will be relatively comparable to the price of Starship 1.0. Even so, from the first 100 passengers on board Starship 2.0 up to a total of 1,000 passengers, each new batch of passengers would be larger than the previous one. 
In light of this, the spacecraft is getting close to making its debut in orbit. In order to be ready for the crucial initial orbital launch of the Starship, SpaceX has started delivering its upgraded Raptor V2 engines to the Starbase. The launch of SpaceX's spaceship will be the company's next significant milestone. Please leave your thoughts in the comment section below on this cutting-edge SpaceX Starship 2.0 and let us know what you think of it. If you found this video informative and exciting, consider giving it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, hit that notification bell to be constantly updated with our upcoming videos. You can visit our channel for more content of the likes. And again, this is the Technology Zone, and see you guys in the next one.